The Greek festival returns to Winston-Salem this weekend. This is a celebration of Greek culture from arts to all of that delicious food. But if you can't wait for tomorrow, you can get into the Greek spirit this morning with us. I'd like to welcome Victoria Kara Georges joining us live now. She is one of the organizers of the Greek festival. Victoria, good morning. Good morning, Kalibera, as we say in Greek. Oh, it's just so great to have you here. Please show us what we're making. What do you have in front of you? Yes, so today I'm going to show you guys quickly how to assemble a pork and chicken souffleiki. Um, here we've got raw pork and then raw chicken. Um, souffleiki, us Greeks, we like to cook our meat on a souffla, which is a giant spit. So this is kind of a, a souffleiki would mean like a smaller spit. Um, typical Greek marinade is going to be lemon, olive oil, salt, pepper, oregano. So once you marinate your meat and then assemble it on the skewer, you just put it on your flat top grill. So you guys can see what I'm doing back here and the other great thing about having out a spit is that it keeps it together when you are cooking it and eating it um so here we've got chicken and pork that we've been cooking for about 10 15 minutes um once your meat is cooked you can take it and put it on a plate the other great thing about this too is you can eat it you know just by itself or you can eat it in a sandwich um today we're going to eat it by itself Typically, the sides with it will be a tomato and the sliced up tomatoes and onions. Um, so I'll just put that on the side of the plate here. Um, like I said, if you're eating it in a pita bread, you would just take your pita bread, put the meat, and then put the sauce on top as well. And then, of course, I think everyone knows about tzatziki sauce. Um, we eat this with everything. We've got a homemade recipe here that will be an, you know, a cut side course to all of our meals in the festival, which is typically a Greek yogurt dipping sauce with some cucumber dill, lemon olive oil as well. So you just want to plate that on the side. And then instead of forks, we, we pretty much use bread as forks. So um, <laughs> that's what we will have here. And this is what your plate mm. will look like. Oh, that looks delicious. Greek is my one of my favorite types of food. So this is right up my alley this morning. So I want you to tell us some of the other food items that will be available to sample this weekend for the festival. Yes, food is, I think, one of our main attractions, you know, here at the festival. Um, you know, traditionally we'll have the chicken souffleiki, we'll have um, the new, something new this year is uh, Greek baked like, or Greek spaghetti and meatballs that has feta cheese. We'll have spani kopita, which is like the traditional uh, feta cheese and spinach pie. Um, also, loads of desserts. All of our pastries are homemade by the Greek ladies here, the yayas, the grandmothers of our community. So that's definitely something that's one of a kind to our festival. We'll have lukumades as well, which is the Greek style donuts. Um, pretty much, uh, if it's a traditional Greek cuisine, we're gonna have it here all homemade. We've been working really, really hard these past couple of months, just the whole community together to prepare not only cooking, but getting the church ready. Um, and we're so, so excited to have it back after two years from COVID. I know, I am too. I can't wait to try it out for my first time this weekend. Victoria, what do you believe um, makes this so special? You're talking about the authenticity of the food and just your culture as a whole, but having this in Winston-Salem is special for all of you. It, it certainly is, and you know, I think as, as reflecting on the past few years, it's even more special to it. this year in particular to ever bring it back in person. Um, fun fact I always like to share this time of year is that Winston-Salem actually has the second largest Greek community in North Carolina. So, um, wow. and funny enough, a lot of the, the Greek folks here are from the same area of Greece. So very interconnected, very tight knit. And the festival really allows all of us, as much as we enjoy um, sharing our culture, the community, we also, and uh, you know, enjoy preparing and putting it on because it brings a lot of us, you know, just a lot bit closer. So um, we're excited to kind of, you know, share what, it, what being Greek means to us. And that, a lot of that means just, you know, being a family, uh, being one as a community, and sharing that with others. Oh, and what part of Greece are you from? We, a lot of the um, folks from here are from Central Greece. So, uh, okay. uh, you know, and oddly enough, when back years and decades ago, when Greek people started immigrating here, um, North Carolina was the area they would settle just because it kind of mirrored with the mountains, uh, you know, in the western part, mirrored, you know, to their homeland in Greece. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Karen. And show us the plate of goodies. I mean, Victoria, sorry about that. Show us the plate of goodies one more time, the delicious skewers you have there. There we go. And this so, is chicken and pork. I'm going to get a close-up view. <laughs> thank you. Share with us again exactly what is on the skewers if folks are just joining us. Yep. 
Absolutely. So here we have a chicken souvlaki and a pork souvlaki with green peppers and onions. All of these are marinated in lemon oil. I'm sorry, lemon oil. Olive oil, lemon, salt, pepper, oregano. And then just as a side, which you could, could assemble this as a sandwich as well, diced onions and tomatoes, tzatziki sauce, which makes everything taste better. And then, <laughs> as I said earlier, instead of a fork, we just use bread and <laughs> dip everything together. Awesome. Victoria, it has been so great to have you joining us on our show. Hope to see you this weekend as well. Thank you again. And everyone at home, this is on our website on triadcw.com if you missed any of her recipe. And once again, the Greek festival is happening all weekend. It starts up tomorrow. It goes through Sunday at Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church in Winston-Salem. The hours are on your screen and drive through options are available too. If you'd like, you can find more information at WSGreekFestival.com. And tomorrow on WXII 12 News, reporter Rachel Ellis will be live at the festival site with a special sneak peek for our morning show.